What's your idea for the video? I'm a forget Now all the beauty you got it for her And you go collect What is the inspiration behind Available? Um, letting them know that I'm up to music <laughs> That I'm available back on the scene And it's a love song, it's a feel good song But like me projecting my desire for my loved interest like yo are you, are you down are you available just want something fun you can make people smile you know uh, people say it's amoludu it means that people that make the society happy so it's from that intention that available came about no um honestly i didn't it was the first time experiencing that type of you know everywhere type of attention so you just never know as an artist, you never know because sometimes the songs travel more than you will ever travel. The songs will meet people that you never meet. I think that's how you know how you know big a song is, is that the places that the song will go to where you never go or you never think of going. So um, it was my first time experiencing that. Um, I didn't nurse a dream to become a music uh, presenter, a radio presenter. I, I just, I like listening to the radio. Um, I like media. I am presenting music at the moment. So it's just, uh, I wanted to learn how to communicate with the masses, which is mass media. Um, my medium is music, so I'm still mass communicating music. The same dynamics. What makes news makes a hit song, you know? It's just something that connects with um, a lot of people and it's straight to the point. You can connect on an emotional basis um, for people. It's beyond identity. It's just like um, psychographic um, analysis, yeah. Like when I'm making music, I'm not thinking I want to make it for this type of people. No, no, it's uh, this type of situation. And that's what makes news channel popular, I guess. So it's what makes music work as well, or hit songs work. I think it's just communicating to a mass audience and going to learn about that in the journalism school was helpful for me. What matters to me though, it's not competitive edge. I'm not in a competition. I'm not making music to compete with anybody. I'm making music to, to connect. So maybe my connection edge. So I make music to connect. I make art to connect to people. I want to make music that connects people with people. Connects everyday situations. So it's about connection for me rather than competition. Um, so I really don't care what competitive edge. Maybe that's my competitive edge because I'm not doing it to be on the charts or um, how to do another person. I really just want like, whenever people press play, they can feel something. And that's what matters to me. Challenges, I, I, I don't think, the challenges I faced a long time ago. <laughs> I don't think that I've ever been clinically depressed or anything like that. I've never said to myself I'm depressed. I just always try to seek balance. My answer is I like to keep private things private. My relationship is not public service or public entertainment. Whatever is of value to you, you protect it. You don't just expose it to any kind of people. Truthfully, female fans have desires and fantasies and um, you cannot be oblivious or ignorant of that because you can want to keep it, you know, that and it could be something else. Especially for if you're the type of person who likes to make people feel welcome and like good, you can be read off as something else. So um, how do I deal with it? I think boundaries. 
is creating and establishing boundaries. I came out to say, you know, it's not a hundred, it's not a lot of money for me. Now I'm claiming that as my experience, that it's not, it's not a lot of money. What I was doing was personal. It's like hundred million dollars is not a lot of money. I'm saying it for myself, my future self, my past self, my identity, that this is not a lot of money for Corey DeBello. Now, if you have a problem with that, that's obviously not Corey DeBello's problem. I've been working on um, a project, multiple projects, but um, there's a project coming really soon and I'm excited about it. Can't wait for people to experience it. Um, yeah, that's what I've been up to making music it can come from anywhere um, I, I'm inspired by the new um, people who are doing it big because I believe in creating art for a diverse set of people so people who are breaking geographical boundaries I inspire me because like I want us to go big I want us to take it to the world I don't believe in Afrobeat to the world I believe in Afrobeat for the world you know so like i wanted to spread the, the culture to a global audience so everybody that's doing that inspires me squeeze david Bernard, thames ira rema you know oxlade ck everybody 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 inspires me and not just me inspire everybody myself i inspire myself too and jazz is my friend and also, my former liberal exec, my former boss. But um, yeah, just is my friend, just leave it there. Oh yes, I have new partners. Um, um, I have a deal with One RPM Global. Um, yeah, so those are my new partners at the moment. Um, last year, I think, last year. Now my state. <laughs>